the majestic tortoise, which locals here in Spain call La Tortuga, is a land reptile that can live for hundreds of years. The tortuga has a dome-shaped shell and enjoys a plant-only diet. In contrast, the turtle, which locals here in Spain call La Tortuga, is a sea reptile that swims with power and grace. The tortuga has a streamlined flat shell and enjoys eating both animals and plants. It is completely different from the tortoise. But apparently people in Spain think it's okay to call two completely different animals by the same name, even though I've repeatedly made it clear to them that they are not the same thing. You can't call a zebra La Zebra and then call a horse La Zebra. They're two scientifically distinct species. That would be ridiculous. Planet Earth. Relaxing. Yeah, it's pretty good. The guy was getting pretty mad. Yeah, notice he's very passionate about languages. Yeah, what, uh, yeah, I don't know. Do you want to watch some of the show? What show? My show. <laughs> so you admit that it's your show? Uh, it's got my name on it. Good point. Is there any rail or plug in this one? No, there's no rail or plug in this one. After Work with Tucker Iverson. A Wisconsin football player accidentally shattered the Glass Mayo Bowl trophy after winning. Initially, the team was devastated by the breakage, but then they remembered it was just the Mayo Bowl. <laughs> China has approved their first homegrown COVID vaccine, said to be 79% effective, which is perfect for people who want to live 79% of the time. <laughs> Health officials advised Russians that if they get the COVID-19 vaccine, they will need to give up alcohol for two months. And Russians advised health officials that they will not be getting the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> this week, the Body of Christ Church is holding a flu vaccination clinic. Unfortunately, they will be injecting people with the flu shot of Christ, which is just dirty river water in a syringe. <laughs> the Pope missed the Vatican's New Year's ceremonies due to back pain. He's suffering from lumbago, which is back pain which occurs when you've tired out your lower lumbar, sweeping thousands of scandals under the rug. <laughs> a man in Boston recently met his biological father for the first time while dressed as Buddy from Elf, while repeating lines from the movie and singing songs. His father said, quote, Yeah, I'm glad I gave him up for adoption. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a Wisconsin college has introduced video gaming as a sport. A win for people who don't believe college athletes should get paid or laid. <laughs> <laughs> a new study ranks Nevada as the country's most selfish state. The study was conducted when researchers asked casinos, can we have free chips? And the casino said, no. <laughs> then they asked sex workers, hey, can we have free sex? And the sex workers said, no. <laughs> then they went up to David Copperfield and they were like, hey, Mr. Copperfield, can we have free tickets to your show? And he was like, no. <laughs> and then the researcher said, everyone in Nevada is so selfish. We're going to write a study about how selfish everyone is. <laughs> <laughs> 60 Minutes is the only network primetime news show that grew its viewership in 2020, probably because it's so fucking exciting to watch. <laughs> I mean, listen to that theme song. What a banger. <laughs> Police in Massachusetts are looking for a massive albino python that went missing from a Petco on Christmas Eve. Wait, John Hamm was at a Petco on Christmas Eve? <laughs> <laughs> Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have dropped the first episode of their podcast. Said Prince William... Wait, but I'm the one with the face for radio. <laughs> what people at home, if they're also watching TV with us, should do, they should like and subscribe to the channel. I guess yeah. if, they... if you don't do that, you're wasting our time. Hi, I'm Derek. And I'm Eric. And we're the Car, Car Brothers. Brothers. And, and we, we sell, sell cars. cars. Our December to Remember sales event was a flop. An absolute flop. We have never seen anything quite like the low activity that we saw out there on our lots. 
We need to sell a lot more cars to make this a January to remember. Remember, the inventory is at a critically high level, so we have some deals that are gonna blow your mind. Your mind will be blown to high noon. This car is so cheap. We went into a room for uh, 56 hours and we came up with all these great deals, 80 of them for you. Deals like buy a car, lease a car. Negative 5% APR financing. Buy a car. We sign a letter that says your nephew, he was one of our interns this summer. Honda Accordion. You buy a Honda Accord, you get an accordion. <laughs> David Archer Lexus. If you buy a Lexus, the David Archuleta, runner up from American Idol, will sing you a song. And if you throw in heated seats, maybe you'll do a dance. This car's got great bones. February to remember sales event in the event that January is another month to forget. The hopefully unnecessary March to remember sales event. Chevro let them eat cake. We will let you eat a piece of our receptionist Evangeline's precious wedding cake that she keeps in the company freezer. Um, hey, has anybody seen uh, my, my wedding cake? I, um, I'm saving that, so if you can just return it to me. I won't ask any questions. Dodge a ball for a Dodge. Fiat, biatch. The BMW bring more water sales event. The V8 Splash. Buy any car with a V8 engine and we will personally pour you a glass of V8 Splash. Drink it on the lot or bring it home. But please bring back the glass. This is not a charity. The Suzuki method. You buy one of our Suzukis and uh, Eric here will teach you the violin based on a system of numbers instead of notes. Some people say it's one of the most efficient ways to learn the instrument. Accuracy. You see an Acura, you must buy it. Boyota George Camry Chameleon sales event. You sing about 50% of the notes to the song Karma Chameleon, and we'll give you a Toyota Camry at a haggled rate. Hummer for a Hummer. You just have to give us your best hum tune, and you can go home with our biggest car. JD Power, he's one of my close buddies. We play Canasta together. Mini Coupathon. We will line up our sales staff in height order and you get to pick one of the four shortest for us to lay off. We, we will carry this to November, November 2021, 2021 if that's, that's what, what it takes. takes. Because we're out of money then. What are you, stupid? You're not gonna buy one? Come on, buy a car. Dear Dorothy Winters, my heart still sings out to you every day, and I wish I could return home to you and hold you in my arms. Oh, how sweet that would be. But this war rages on, unavoidable casualties on both sides. But we are close to the end. To achieve ultimate victory, we need only to sacrifice one lowly soldier. This would cause the enemy's defenses to break wide open. But I can't do it. The pawn did not ask for this. The pawn is innocent. He does what he is told, never looks backwards, always moving forward or diagonally when he's carrying out my orders. He's been fighting to return home to his pawn house, his pawn wife, and his little pawn children, and maybe, maybe one day earn a promotion. But if I sacrifice him, he'll never know the joys of freedom, being able to move anywhere he wants at any time. I cannot do this to him. Therefore, this will be my last letter to you. I am resigning the war tomorrow and will give myself to the enemy. I hope that my sacrifice will not be in vain. Yours forever, White King. When does Joan Rivers Fashion Police come on? It's not coming on. Do we TiVo it? No, let's just watch the, my favorite YouTuber, okay? He's from the Baroque Logan era. Paul? No, not Logan Paul. Good morrow, my fellows. It's your boy, Henrik Steichman from the Quartet Quarter. We're going to be rating some of this period's hottest compositions from best to worst. First up, we got Vivaldi, Four Seasons. It's super good. It's just like, I won't lie. It kind of just sounds like exactly like his last album. I guess, you know, why fix what ain't broken? <laughs> okay, up next, we got Handel, The Messiah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lo. 
look, obviously it's a masterpiece, but can't help but wonder what the intentions are behind this. That's because you wrote the Messiah doesn't mean that you get a free pass into heaven. We all remember the handle scandal. Dueling is sacrilegious and dueling over who has the right to play continuo in the opera pit is kind of lame. Like if you're gonna duel over anything, maybe try being a little more interesting. Next up, Henry Purcell, who? <laughs> People are gonna tell you this is called Dido and Aeneas, but let's just call a spade a spade. Dildo and Aeneas. We can't blame Purcell. I mean, he studied under John Blow. Oh, I guess what I'm trying to say is that uh, this blows. His second most famous song is called Who Can From Joy Refrain. If you listen to it, uh, let me tell you, Purcell can from joy refrain. All right, next up we got Johann Pachelbel, Canon in D major. Ugh, all right. overused. Also this name. Look, Pickleball, we get it. Canon in D major. You're an organ master. You are not being subtle. Also, there are like a million portraits of Taco Bell and not one of them looks the same. Guess I kind of admire that because if my music was this bad, I also wouldn't want people recognizing me in the street. My family is friends with the box. I know you're gonna say that there's a lot of personal bias here, but the cello suites, you can't get any better than that. Listen to that. That bangs. That sounds like a man who's got 20 kids, you know? Bach for breakfast, Bach for dinner, Bach for lunch, Bach for supper. All of the meals that we have in the Baroque period. So good. All right, so the final ranking, best to worst, it goes Bach. Then we got Vivaldi. Then we got Handel. Then we got Paco Bell. And then, obviously, Purcell. That's all I got, folks. Be sure to pick up your copy of Quartet Quarterly. Anon, everyone. <laughs> You know what, screw it, we don't need this. We can just watch something on our phones. What do you mean on our phones? On who, TikTok. Who navigates from a full screen to a phone? Let's just watch it, okay? Yes. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to give yourself a root canal at home. First, choose the gnarliest looking tooth. If you choose wrong, that's okay. You can repeat the process again and again. Next, apply a local anesthetic to the gums. Any kitchen cleaner under the sink will do. The stinkiest one will get you the numbest results. Next, gather your supplies. Obviously, you won't have regular dental equipment at home, but a wrench and a screwdriver work great. I also will use a hammer to make the process faster, but that's an advanced move. Finally, canal your roots. Let the roots canal for an hour. And there you have it. A quick way to give you a room at home. I want to watch the news, and none of that bubblegum liberal bullshit like MSNBC. I want news that tells you how it is. That's why the knife was the key to solving the whole scandal. Back to you, Dale. Uh, nothing major to report in the last hour. We do still have countries, which is disappointing to say the least. Uh, conservative Senate leaders like Lindsey Graham, Mitch McConnell, and Elizabeth Warren all still remain staunchly united against the actual left's proposal to eliminate countries and move to an intergalactic central power that governs all life forms in the universe. I guess the right just doesn't care about the well-being of all life. As I've said before, extraterrestrials will interpret this lack of foresight as an act of aggression. This will be catastrophic, especially if, as we suspect, extraterrestrials have ray guns that can boil and freeze us at the same time. And to make matters worse, I circulated a petition for this democratic space empire to some of the most influential people on Earth, and to date I've only gotten two signatures. So let's go to the map and get an idea of the current state of things.
You'll see there are currently 195 countries, or fascist regions as I call them, spread across the planet number three. All of them currently divided along arbitrary delineations and with arbitrary access to resources and capital. China, lots of people and a strong economy. Russia, ugly, gross guys are the shot callers. UK, kings and queens still a thing, Meghan Markle still not on Instagram. Saudi Arabia, they get planet number three's best energy juice and ladies wear hoods. They get this, US has me and baseball, they hate them, they get these but they don't get to keep them. Norway is good at the Winter Olympics. Fall of Rome, hot, cold, nice. Here's my point, America. People love saying that the Second Amendment isn't valid anymore because it was drafted hundreds of years ago. And I speak for all of RopCorp News when I say that we fully agree. But the same people, Bernie Sanders, Pocahontas, also remain curiously quiet when it comes to the subject of how these countries were originally drawn up and whether we should rethink those Neanderthal policies as well. And reactionaries like the aforementioned Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren insist that we redirect our focus inwards and stick our heads in the sand, as if there aren't potentially 40 intelligent civilizations in the Milky Way that require an immediate peace offering. I personally have only ever been too hot or too cold. I have never been both at the same time, and I don't intend to find out what that feels like. Guys, Here's the point, it's all a mess. That's why we should just merge all the countries into one planetary subcommittee that makes policies designed to create equality for all sentient beings across the galaxies. The sooner we can beam out our proposal for peace into space, the sooner we can establish alliances with any planets that have those boil freeze ray guns. Thank you, America. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, that was just clearly you. It's good though. Trisha Donaldson encapsulates everything that a reporter should, should be. She's strong, she's just under six foot, she's sexy, and she carries a knife with her everywhere she goes. And she always solves the case. I right. love that show. I'm not trying to be Joan Rivers fashion police. Love the show. Okay. Love that show. But she was wearing a towel as a dress. Let's just watch it. I don't even care if it's commercials, okay? Let's just watch any channel that's not just you, okay? Well, hello there, you. And there you were. Every account set to public, you want to be seen, heard, known. Of course, I obliged. I believe in love at first sight, but love is tricky. Do you Can we get real for a second? You have questionable taste in friends. I'm going to help you get the life you deserve. Jealousy got the best of me. Are you watching me? Uh uh. Stalker. You. Are you. Yeah. You. I <clears throat> love how comfortable we are ripping the controller out of each other's hands. Don't really seem to get annoyed at it. I think that's pretty cool. Are you gonna play something? Something's on. Who could that be in the door? Your Chinese food. Wait, who ordered Chinese food? Oh, it must have been my ghost girlfriend. I guess I have to eat this now. <laughs> All my premium matches are gone on Tinder. Who could have done this? <laughs> it was my ghost girl. Hey, as your best friend and neighbor, <laughs> you gotta let go of your girlfriend. She's dead. You mean, my ghost girlfriend? No, I mean your dead girlfriend. <laughs> Hold up, a bunch of holes in my condom? Who could have done this? <laughs> it's my ghost girlfriend. <laughs> That's so crazy, I just got a promotion at work, but I haven't been at work in weeks. <sighs> it was my ghost girlfriend. Wait, my mom said I got her flowers for Mother's Day, but I hate my mom. Oh, it was my ghost girlfriend. I don't know what happened at that party. That famous baseball player just kissed me right out of the blue. Oh, my ghost girlfriend. Ghost girlfriend! Yeah, she doesn't know that she's dead!
a ghost girlfriend. Every night she tried to give me a head. A ghost girlfriend. Alright, that one was confusing. In what way? His, his ghost girlfriend wants him to sleep with other people or doesn't? Just the baseball player. And wants to get the baseball player pregnant? Because of the holes in the condoms? Why is that on Disney Channel? Let's watch something relaxing. Welcome to the Great British Faking Show, where the six remaining contestants are looking to prove that they are the best at faking being British. It's imitation week in the tent, and our star fakers must face three daunting challenges in order to win Star Faker. Up first, the signature fake, in which they will be given three hours to write a sonnet that must be worthy of Shakespeare himself. Now, they can choose whichever subject they like, but the iambic pentameter must be on point, and the language positively gorgeous. Fakers, we're looking for one scrumptious paragraph. On your marks, get set, fake! At first when I got this challenge, I was like, huh? But then I remembered Shakespeare's ruffled collar, so I'm gonna be writing a sonnet about that. Grace's sonnet will be comprised of descriptive phrases and flowery language, and will be on the subject of the bard's ruffled collar. Maybe you'll get one of my uh, elusive handshakes. Fakers, today's technical challenge is highly technical. We will need you to show us a full conversation using four different and distinctive British accents. Any tips, James California? Fakers, we're looking for some really inspirational accents. Here's some examples of what we can do. Like, all right, the old China plate, or yeah, you did a bowl, you were a bean, or hey, no, Brian Kai, I see you on here. <laughs> or even better, the Queen herself. Yes, what was say? What is most amused? There you go, Bakers, the finest work. On your marks, get set, fake. For mine, I have a conversation between. Scottish bartender and three other British patrons. All right, laddies, what can I get you? I'm from Scotland. I'll have one pint of Newcastle, please. All right, that sounds good. I can get you that. Oh, I think I'll have one Dalmatian, please. And in the absence of that, I will have one beer. I'll have a pint of Guinness, please. And one shot of Jameson to go along with it. All right, fellas, coming right up. You guys have a great time in this bar, eh? Well, James, do they live up to the standard? No. Bakers, today's showstopper challenge, you will have to inhabit fully Michael Caine in Batman. The clothes, the accents, the relationship with Bruce Wayne. And remember, this is the showstopper, so we want to be blown away. Any tips, James California? We're looking for the perfect Michael Caine. Something like this. Enjoy, Master Wayne. Some men just want to watch the world burn. On your marks, get set, fake. Safe. show you a quick and easy way to sell your liver on the black market. First, log into the dark web. The deeper you go, the more interesting things you can find. Next, say some positive affirmations in the mirror to keep your mind strong while haggling with the worst of mankind. You'd be tempted to charge too much for your liver because you owe a crime boss an exorbitant amount of money, but don't do that. Next, lie about the amount of liver damage and have a tampered sample on hand. Once you secure a beer, remove your liver. Finally, pack your liver on ice and send it on its way. I like to add a few personal touches, like a handwritten note and a dead pigeon to let the buyer know you're not to be messed with. 
there you have it. A quick and easy way to sell your liver on the black market. All right, you know what? That one was a little too weird for my taste. Let's just watch TV again. Growing up with sisters, it's always been hard for me to connect with the guys. But Tucker invited me to a boys poker night and I think it's my chance to connect with the fellas. Here goes nothing. Oh, oh, come that's on, not that's a, a home run. Yeah, no, 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 three pointers. Oh, man. what's up, dude? <laughs> right, what's up, bro? This is my buddy Jack from what's high up, school. Man? Hey, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He'll fit in with our traditions, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> was uh, Tucker always this much of a nerd even in high school? <laughs> no, he wasn't. Tucker, you weren't a nerd in high school. And don't talk to him like that. Tucker, don't listen to him. No, Jack, he's joking. Oh, jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Riffing with the boys. I love that kind of stuff. You'll learn that. <laughs> I could tell you never really experienced the concept of riffing with the boys. You might like it, but he's nowhere close to loving it. So they got the chicks around here, right? We can finally talk about guy stuff. Guy stuff? What is this guy talking about? Guy stuff? What is this guy talking about? Uh, I'm talking about meat. Meat? Meat? It's actually cured meat. And the only thing better than cured meat is cured meat and accoutrement. Well, I, I ordered a pizza actually, so it's kind of tradition. Pizza is a boys night tradition, okay? And tradition is the most important thing to me. Wait, hold the fucking phone. Is that Manchego? You bet your big ass it is. Go ahead, brother. Pizza. Okay, fine. Okay, guys. Uh, if that's what you want, I'll call the pizza place and I'll swap out the mozzarella and the pepperoni for this manchego and prosciutto, okay? Anyway, did you bring the cards? I always bring the cards, Tucker. You know that. I've done it since high school. How else would we know what we're eating? You label that. You label that. So we have crackers. There's also some sort of spicy meats. Um, salami. Wait, those are called cornichons? I fucking love those little pickle things. You seem like a little pickle guy. <laughs> Have a dozen. Don't be shy. <laughs> He's learning. And not wood. Would that be oak? It's maple. Bravo, sir. <laughs> the maple was an impressive flourish. Guys, what happened to tradition? Okay? This isn't some sort of arts and crafts and cured meats and holding hands party. This is boys' night. Kyle and Wander were the ones holding hands. That was not my idea. Jack. When I invited you, I thought you'd be down to play a little poker, watch a little sports, you know, smoke a half a cigar each, play dick bingo on chat roulette, etc., etc., okay? But it, it seems like you don't even care about our traditions. Stop. Jack might have a weak ass chin. He might be pretty freaking sensitive. And by the looks of it, he's pretty goddamn lonely. But this is super nice. We can change our traditions, it's not that hard. Also, I don't even like Dick Bingo. Wander always wins. Did that change your mind? <laughs> are that are this strawberry preserves? It's jam, but yes. <laughs> Bless the Lord for the charcuterie board. <laughs> I think that deserves a boys eye. I guess traditions can change. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my favorite show. It reminds me of my youth. That was not relaxing. <clears throat> it relaxed me. You should really have a word for turtle in Spanish because they have a word for tortoise, which is tortuga, and it seems like it's Teenage Mutant Ninja tortoises. All right, let's just go back to, let's, can we watch more TikToks? I don't like wavering back and forth between TV and TikToks. Can we pick something? Well, let's just watch a, another TikTok and then maybe we'll pick something. Hey everyone, my last few videos have really taken off. So today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to spontaneously combust at home. First, find yourself a super comfy chair. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to spontaneously combust at home. Do you have any Charlie D'Amelio? No. My New Year's resolution? Stop bullying small children. But first, I want to talk about Squarespace. Its drop-and-click design makes website design easy. 
It only took me 10 minutes to create a bait and switch website that sells photos of beautiful pony princesses, but ships photos of scary witches instead. Squarespace, make it beautiful. Baby, you're the fire. Come on, show me why. You work. Thank you, go. Jack, 27, and I have what it takes. What it takes for what? <laughs> You'll see. Baby, you're the firework. I can't show the world. You're the world. I'm making it all. Ah, ah, ah. As I walk about some time, and oh, yeah. And I know who why Katy Perry? Um, there's nothing more anti-establishment than Katy Perry. Baby, you're a Come on, show you what. you down. This has been another interview with someone whose parents told them they were good at something they're not. Nah, let's watch something from your show. Fist bumps are actually expected to replace handshakes after the pandemic. And so job interviews are about to be so chill. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to help you get ahead and give you some interview tips that we project. I will guarantee that you snag that future job. My greatest strength? Well, I contain multitudes. Probably chillness amongst extremely harsh vibes is my greatest strength. <laughs> I understand you offer sick days, but what's your policy on gnarly days? <laughs> Why yes, my uncle does work here. He's the CFO, chill, fraternal brother of my father. <laughs> Are there any good taco trucks around? I know that Tito's Burritos is parked not far. <laughs> I'm gonna need a full week off for Tony Hawk's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> My greatest weakness, three street tacos. <laughs> one al pastor, one fish grilled right on the plancha, and of course, carnitas. <laughs> I came in third place in the Encino Hackathon. The key is to hacky sack using your feet as well as your thighs. <laughs> Apologies if I have underdressed, senor. I do, <laughs> I do own many suits. Wetsuits. <laughs> I will grind every day on the way to work. This does in fact refer to my boarding on rails and also getting rid of those pesky stems. <laughs> and my work ethic, and my work ethic. A perfecta trifecta, if you will. <laughs> I see that you're looking for someone proficient in tech decks. Look no further, mi amigo. <laughs> Why, yes, that resume is scribbled on the back of an In-N-Out receipt. My order is a 4 by 4 animal style. <laughs> to be honest, In-N-Out is dank, but I preferred fish grilled right on that plancha. <laughs> Alright, um, whatever, let's just, let's just flip through channels. Can you stop yanking away from my hand? You're hurting my hand. Is your hand hurt? It doesn't look you bad. You tell me. No. My New Year's resolution? Stop being arrested at Met Gala's for indecent exposure. But first, I want to talk about MeUndies. MeUndies is made by a fabric called Modal, which makes them super soft. Adding to that their great designs, you could say they're the black tie of underwear. MeUndies. It's for everybody. Neglect. Starvation. Drowning. <laughs> These are just some of the types of abuse that plants endure on a daily basis. Hi, I'm Dave Mason, plant lawyer. And if you're a plant watching this right now in your living room while your owner is being a scumbag and not taking proper care of you, well then you have grounds to sue! sue. sue. And I have the skills to fight on your behalf. Hi, yeah. Ow. Psh, 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 psh. Ugh. Whoa. Huh, huh. Oh. Ow. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.
Don't believe me? Just listen to my past clients. My owner put me outside for a sun bath. I almost burnt to a crisp. I called Dave Mason right away and I won millions in damages. I'm living large in Beverly Hills, baby. That chain looks really good on you. My owner was straight up torturing me, ripping my arms off, boiling them in tomato sauce, eating my flesh with her friends and laughing without a care in the world. I saw Dave's commercial one day, gave him a call, and now she's boiling in her prison cell. Anyone who makes pasta sauce with basil is a criminal in my book. <sighs> Apparently, my owner thought I was a fake plant and didn't need any care. Well, I said, you know what, Brad? You're fake. He said, you can talk? I said, yeah. And I can take you to places your girlfriend Jennifer never could. She's the only thing standing between us, and there's only one way to get rid of her. He said, I'm calling the cops. I said, well, they're gonna have to speak to my lawyer, Dave Mason. Her life sounds like a Lifetime movie. One I'd watch and pay for even. Listen, I'm not going to make you do anything you don't want to do or feel bad about not doing something, okay? I'm just not that guy. Ask my buddies. They'll tell you the same thing. <sighs> Anyways, you got to be an idiot with your face screwed on backwards and your sweater soaked in drool because you're an idiot if you don't call me Dave Mason. So what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-MASON and I'll smash your plant abuser's face in. Call 1-800-MASON and I'll splash your plant abuser's face in. Call 1-800-MASON and I'll smash your plant abuser's face in. Shh, it'll be our little secret. Call now, please. That was weird. My dermatologist gave me new, uh, a new prescription for some oil that's going to free up some of my pores. They're getting blocked. Running is hard. How do I get better at it? Keep running. For sure, but my legs really hurt. <laughs> what should I do? Come on, run, my boy. Run, my boy, run. Come on. Oh, okay, so I stopped running physically to go to the hospital. May never run again, but I'm still running in my heart. Run with the truth and hold my head high. Like, you know, run away from having the people, please. No, run, me, run, me. Come on, pick it up. Oh, you mean run like be up front with him and continue to chase my dreams. Keep running. You're so right. I should run with it. I'm not gonna let this weird fling get in the way of climbing the corporate ladder. I haven't done my taxes in 12 years and unlisted numbers are blowing up my phone. Please help me. Keep running. Oh, by keep running, you mean pay off all my taxes and block all the numbers that keep blowing on my phone? Okay, that's good advice. Hey, I'm currently hiding in the bathroom. I have a work meeting in 10 minutes. My boss asked me to uh, present on the quarterly reports. How do I handle this? Woo, keep running. Yeah, it feels good. Okay. You mean keep running my mouth? Use industry specific jargon and stall until the meeting's over. Thanks. No, no, come on, keep running. Come on, keep running. Janice? I thought you died on like a work trip to Singapore. We had we had a funeral for you. What is kind of nice. This is watching TV together. Maybe we should do this more often. It was okay. It was okay. <laughs> you, uh, is there any stuff with sort of like balloons 
got our pirates. There's nothing with blue on our pirates. Sorry, 